I've headed over to Mathematica where I've defined the function, I've set our parameter value, and I'm using this nest command, which allows me to take iterative of a function. So f of x is just my function, but f of f of x is what will happen if I put in a 2 there, or f of f of x with a 3, and, uh, sorry, f of f of f of x, f3 of x. And this allows us to see, for example, looking at this map, um, the three iterate map, we'll be able to see the period three orbits be born. Uh, and that'll happen when this map um, starts having intersections with our line. And so right now, the two intersections that it has are from the original fixed points, which are, of course, also fixed points in period three. But as I increase R, some new fixed points should be born. And so I'm going to um, jump towards an R where those fixed points are um, going to be born. And you can see the shape of this FFF function changing, F3, as I increase R. Okay, and I'm close to a bifurcation. And at the bifurcation, this peak, this peak, and this peak are going to be simultaneously tangent, enabling a period three orbit to be born. So it's going to have three new points. And in fact, it's going to be a tangent bifurcation. Two of them are going to be born, one stable and one unstable. OK. I'm going to go just a little bit further. We can see that we have two points, two points, and two points, making up two period three orbits, and heading back to our, um, our sort of fig tree orbit diagram that's this window right here. My, my um, period three has just been born. And I want to note that if you just imagine zooming in and drawing a pretty careful box right here, that this looks a lot like a copy of the logistic map. Same here if I were to think of this as flipped upside down and I just zoom in and draw my axes right here or zoom in and draw my axes right here, these look like little miniature copies of the logistic map. And that's not unrelated to the fact that when I zoom in to the orbit diagram, I have a little miniature copy of the logistic map dynamics. And I just want to take a look at um, the period five points being born as well. OK, um, I just put in the five iterates, and we can see there's a ton of intersections. So I'm well past the R value where those period five points were born. I'm going to dial back a little bit. OK, I dialed back too far. I'm back to having just my original fixed points. Still too far. And that makes sense, because I'm still in the range of R's that are associated with our original period doubling. OK, it looks like I'm getting close to an intersection happening. And because it's um, going to be period five, we need five intersections to happen all at once. OK, it looks like we're very close. Um, maybe we're just about at the bifurcation. One, two, three, four, five tangencies. They're all happening simultaneously. And I'm going to dial a little forward, pa just past the bifurcation, maybe just a little more. And we can see it again that it's, you could imagine zooming in and thinking of these as little copies of the logistic map, three of which are upside down and two of which are right side up.